And Dan, just pivoting a bit to look more broadly at tech and online tech giants specifically, we're now a couple days into the new Biden administration. What does Trump's departure mean when it comes to online disinformation and its prevalence and how it's going to be handled going forward? Yeah, sorry, I did this piece on uh, misinformation and disinformation online, disinformation being purposeful false information, misinformation being accidental uh, uh, misinformation. So, uh, you know, a a lot of people obviously talking about Trump's ban from Twitter. Uh, There was a study from Zygmunt Labs saying that uh, election disinformation had fallen around 70 something percent uh, after Trump and his allies were taken off the platform uh, or deplatformed on other services as well. And that's a, a big change. But uh, by no means does Trump leaving office or being taken off social media mean that disinformation and misinformation uh, will stop spreading. Uh, and a lot of experts that I spoke to said it simply comes down to educating the public uh, as to what is true and what is not. There seems to be this kind of uh, reality distortion field that we're living in where uh, truth doesn't matter uh, and people have their own opinions and that seems to supersede the truth. But uh, experts that I spoke to at Carnegie Mellon and MIT were basically saying, look, we have to give the public uh, a better understanding of what the truth is uh, and reinforce uh, belief in institutions like uh, government entities and like uh, universities and colleges uh, and scientific organizations to ensure that people recognize the truth when they see it. And uh, a lot of it comes down to seemingly uh, either people being lazy and wanting to retweet things quickly without reading them. Uh, and uh, that's where uh, disinformation and misinformation can be spread, uh, as well as uh, people not Uh, going past the headline. That seems to be another issue. Uh, Twitter and Facebook have introduced issues uh, or or capabilities there to make people read a little bit more. But then on the flip side, uh, people may see labels that call something incorrect and then automatically start to think that anything that's not labeled is correct. So it's very strange. It's it's a bigger problem than just Trump uh, and the, the, the election. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's obviously a bipartisan issue. We've seen Republicans and Democrats stress that uh, heading into the new administration as well. But Dan Halley, appreciate you coming on here to chat.